All right. Hello, everyone. Cage here. And today, I will be starting a playthrough of Resident Evil 4 on GameCube. This will be a nice leisurely playthrough. Um, it's not going to be a speed run or anything like that. It's going to be on Pro, but it is going to be New Game Plus with some special weapons. Um, but I'll be playing in a normal costume. I have the tactical vest. Got a selection of good things on sale, so, uh, stranger. Let's see what, what, you what, what I have. What are you selling? I have Matilda, hand cannon, bolt action rifle, and Chicago typewriter. Those are my weapons. Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. But, uh, yeah, here we go. 1998. Never forget it. Um, yeah. Anyways. Here we go. So for the major for for the majority of the village, I'll just be using the Matilda. But as soon as I get later in the game, I'll start using the like. <clears throat> the uh, special weapons, like the other special weapons, because the Matilda is a special weapon. But this will just be 1-1. One -one. Um, it'll just be 1-1. One -one. But it's also going to kind of be a walkthrough in a way, where I'll, I'll be showing you where all the treasures are, and how to get all the hidden items. Um... If you want, I could do a proper walkthrough of this game as well. Um, I can also play some mercenaries and stuff like that. <laughs> I love that. Look. Um. I'm also thinking about doing a full-blown walkthrough for uh, Resident Evil Revelations 2. Or not a walkthrough, but like a first playthrough. And then after I get used to the game, I will do a walkthrough of it on survival difficulty. And those will uh, be longer videos. Okay, this dog here, rescue it. Trust me. Uh, later on in the game, we're going to come across a boss fight, chapter 2-1, against a boss named El Gigante. If you save the dog, the dog will come to help you during the fight, which is really cool. Like, the dog won't attack him or anything, like, it'll, like, distract him, but it's just a nice little thing. Hello, how are you? Um... Oh yeah, something cool here. If you're on a second playthrough and on, like if if you if you're on a new game plus playthrough and you have a rifle, um, aim right here. Yes, they're ready. And boom, both of them. I love it. Oh, I'm gonna go collect anything I might have sniped before I uh, continue on. Really, a twofer and you give me crap. Whatever. <laughs> That's so whatever, man. That is so whatever. Now, um... I'm not sure... Well, honestly, if it's your first playthrough. Uh, if I do, like, a regular walkthrough, I'll show you where all the blue medallions are. But here, I will not. If you want what the blue medallions do, if you shoot 10 of, out of the 15, you will be able to get a gun for free called the Punisher. 
Um, but um, if you show 15 of them as well, you'll get it with a firepower upgrade already. Um, but yeah, this right here is like one of my favorite Resident Evil games of all time. It's a fantastic game. If I, if I do a regular walkthrough, I'll show the cutscenes and stuff like that as well. This is just gonna be, like, kind of leisurely and kind of fast playthrough. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and... There we go. That's how you get the first ruby. Wow. Uh, your first shotgun will be right there. I don't have a shotgun currently. Uh, there's hidden handgun ammo right here, and if you come over here, there is a spinel. And it's all I'll be doing here is just crowd controlling people until the second Dr. Salvador comes by. Okay, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. This is a big crowd of people, so what I'm going to do... There we go. Now, it's not mandatory to kill these two. You don't even have to spawn them. But, uh, if you do, it's a nice way to boost your gold early in the game. But it will take you heaps of ammo. Because those guys take a beating. That's a lot of people, so what I'm going to do. Okay. So I've already shown you where to get all the items in that house are. Um... I'll just show you where the hidden ammo and stuff is in this area. Right here, there is a hidden, well hidden green herb. Up in the tower, there are some shotgun shells. And right here, there's hidden handgun ammo. Uh, in that house, there will be a. Uh, some gold and some shotgun shells. In this hut right here, there is a note and some handgun ammo. Uh, I just, I'll be showing you where you get all the treasures and stuff at, but I will not be focusing on uh, the blue medallions and extra collectibles like the bottle caps and what have you. But this is the first area where you can get the uh, blue medallions. There we go. Pearl pendant. Oh wow. That's uh, surprising. Hello. Usually, one full burst of the head kills them. Um, there's a hidden incendiary grenade. It's hidden behind this house. And this barrel. Um, if you guys want, as I said, I'll do a regular walkthrough of the game. I'll do it on pro as well. 
but it will not be like entire chapters in one video. It will be each chapter will be divided up into sub videos, as to not run too long for. I don't know. I, I love long videos, but um, yeah. Anyways, there are three more treasures in this area. First one is right here. Um. I'm ignoring the rest of the items now, so I don't really need them. Uh, note this area. I'll explain what's down there in a minute. It's one of the treasures. The second uh, other treasure that's in this area is in here. It's a spinel. It's in this box. There are a total of seven spinels in this chapter. I've probably already collected them without explaining where they are, but like there are uh, three more in this chapter, I think, in the next area. Um, the beer stein's in this area. Anyways, so that's all the treasures in that area. But yeah, the Punisher is probably good on normal difficulty because it's, it's the weakest pistol in the game. But its cool, its ability is it uh, hang on, let me do this quick time event right here. Okay. Now there are a total of four treasures in this area. The first is right there. The second is the spinel right here. Don't shoot it down, it can be knifed. If I can get close enough. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, pull out the sniper rifle here. Anyways, here we go. A lot of people that play this game say that the bolt action rifle is not worth it. It's such such a lie. This thing is so strong. The third treasure that's in this area. Blow up that is right here, the spinel. And the fourth and final treasure, or the uh, next final treasure in this chapter is right here, the red cat's eye. Now the red cat's eye, uh, go, the cat's eye gems go in the beer steins. Oh yeah, I have all these treasures from past playthroughs. Uh, that's, that's not a treasure, that's a bottle cap thing, which I don't have many of them at all. Um, I guess I'll go for like a genocide thing this playthrough where I kill everybody, like all the enemies. Oh, dang, that was not smart. Ooh, that was terrible. I'm gonna go ahead and heal. <laughs> oh, hi, I forgot about you. Hello, sir. There's a grenade right here. Um, so yeah, that's, that, that's this area clear. Except for that box right there, that box on your first playthrough will always contain handgun ammo, but on, su on subsequent playthroughs it'll be random. Now, in the second video for this, I will explain more about this game. I just want to make this real quick, because I said I would upload stuff uh, either once a day or once every other day, or every weekend. I still haven't really decided what I want my upload schedule to be. But, uh, yeah. Um, here we go. This will be the end of the chapter. Um, I'm gonna save on a different slot right here. That'll be it for this video, guys. If you all enjoyed, sorry about that. If you enjoyed, uh, please leave. Well, I'm not gonna tell you to like or subscribe if you don't want to, but if you but if you want to, go ahead. I highly doubt that that's possible though. But uh, yeah, 
like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Well, if you want to, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, but yeah. Bye.